Hello, hello. Welcome everyone. I'm Kelly. We're going to begin with a very brief standing practice. So if you have some space, it will just be very brief. Um, and then we'll we'll chat. So I'm going to meet you on the mat. So we'll begin just by finding a comfortable standing position. Maybe that's mountain with our heels just under our hips. But if it would feel more supported to widen the feet out a little bit, we can do that too. So just finding that place where we feel supported, we feel grounded down through the feet and where we can draw the crown up toward the sky. So let's take a moment to just presence ourselves here in our bodies. We may soften the gaze or drop our gaze down toward the floor, or we may close our eyes and just draw our attention inward, inviting ourselves into awareness in this moment. Tonight, we're going to be talking a little bit about um, a possible journey that you may choose to go on with us. And when we embark on a journey, it's helpful for us to have a map. And when we find that map and we locate where we are, we come into awareness. So here in mountain, let's feel the feet making contact with our mat or with the floor. Let's feel the crown of our heads reaching up toward the sky. Let's feel the space we're creating in the body for the breath to come in. And let's just take a few long, slow breaths here. And with our breath, we may even inhale, I am, and exhale, here i am here it's like that little you are here star on the map i am here i am here and after several breaths and maybe repeating this very short i am statement i am here we may feel the body relax a little bit we may feel the nervous system come into a state of more stability. So from here, let's gently tilt the head from side to side. Let's turn the head from side to side. Let's gently reach the chin up. And as the chin comes down, reach up with the base of the skull. So we're beginning to warm ourselves from the inside out. So let's do those same movements for the larger spine and the torso. Let's, let's start with lateral flexion, one arm up and then the other. As always, we're finding our range of motion. We're finding our rhythm, our pace. Let's feel the side body opening. If we're going to embark on a journey, we need to be ready for the trip. So again, that's what we're doing. We're warming ourselves up from the inside out. Once we're balanced here from side to side, let's step the feet a little bit wider apart. We're gonna take a gentle twist. So we may have a short lever, twisting through the upper body, we may have a longer lever and let momentum take over a bit, but just gazing from side to side. Again, if we want to find awareness and come into the moment to know where we are, maybe just looking around, finding that spot of where we are on the map. And once we're balanced here from side to side, let's move into extension and flexion. So the feet can be planted or we can move them, opening the heart and coming back to heart center, opening the heart, and then opening the back of the heart. So the, the hands may come to heart center, the arms may come forward. A little extension and flexion. If the feet stay planted, that's okay too. One more in each direction. And then let's come back into mountain. So now we may be at the very top of our space for mountain. And let's close our eyes and envision what it feels like in our mind-body system when we stand up for ourselves. So feeling the firm foundation beneath us. As we're standing tall in mountain, can we feel our ability to support ourselves from the inside out? As we think about embodying standing up for ourselves, we may lift the chest a little higher. We may roll the shoulders back a bit just making minor adjustments that would really embody our ability to stand up for ourselves. Now on our journey, we will have ups and we will have downs. 
Let's inhale the arms up overhead. And as we exhale, we'll swan dive all the way down into forward fold. And let's find a flow here. Again, we need to find our own rhythm, our own pace. If we're embarking on a journey, we not only need to know where we're going, but we also wanna feel comfortable in the pace in which we're moving. So just flowing with our breath here through the ups and downs. Let's do one more and we'll come back to meat and mountain. So as we're evolving, as we're changing, as we're creating new patterns in our lives, sometimes we need to pause and sit with the changes that we've created. Let's sit back for chair. Let's see if we can find that stable base beneath us so that we're rooted down, supporting ourselves in the lower body, lifting the heart, shining that heart forward. Arms can be wherever we'd like. So let's flow extended mountain, reaching up, stretching ourselves, sitting down for chair, sitting with our own evolution, sitting with the decisions that we may need to make along the way, sitting with the wisdom and the knowledge that we have of who we have been and where we have been in our lives. Let's flow one more time. And we're gonna pause and meet in chair once again. Let's draw the hands into our hearts. So from here, sometimes along the way, not only are there ups and downs, let's shoot that right foot back into a lunge. We can leave the hands at heart center or reach the arms up. But every now and then we have to take a step back. Let's step forward into chair. That left leg shoots back into that high lunge. And stepping forward into chair. So recognizing too that stepping back doesn't mean that anything has gone wrong. Stepping back gives us a different perspective. It allows us to see what's happening with a new view. One more on the left side. And then coming back to chair. Let's inhale, stretching ourselves again, reaching the arms up and releasing the arms down for a mountain, coming back into this posture of standing up for ourselves. So really embodying that, allowing it to sink in, allowing ourselves to recognize that we have the ability to stand up for ourselves for who we wanna be, for who we're becoming. We can breathe life into our own vision. I'm gonna step back just a bit. So from here, let's move into warrior three. That right leg is going to become our base. Our left leg reaches back and let's take the arms down like airplane. So once we embark on our journey, we know where we're going, we can take off. We can give our vision life. And we may have some clouds along the way, but if we stay true to our path, we know that we can reach our destination. Let's come up and find tree here, any version. So allowing ourselves to be rooted down, to find that one pointed vision. Arms can be wherever we'd like. Noticing that balance is not a still point. So we're still moving. We're still breathing. We're shifting, swaying and adjusting as we need. And if we step out of it, we simply come back to it. Let's release that left foot down and we'll switch to make the left foot our base. So arms down like airplane. Let's reach that right leg back for warrior three. So once again, taking off. Throughout a journey of evolution, there are many, many, many different times that we'll take off and we'll land. We'll be up, we'll be down. We reassess and we try again. And none of it means that we have failed or that we are a failure. None of it means that anything has gone wrong. It's all just part of the journey. So let's pull ourselves up into tree. Let's root down 
into our base so that we can grow, so that we can expand, giving ourselves permission to expand into the next version of who we're becoming. Let's take one more breath here. We'll release that right foot down. Let's draw the fists to the sacrum behind us. Let's lift tall with the heart for standing camel, opening our hearts, inviting in possibility, inviting in our dreams and our desires, inviting in the will to keep going when it feels like we're taking a step back. Releasing, let's come back to mountain one last time, standing up for ourselves. Eyes open or closed, whichever we prefer. Feeling steady and strong, ready to move forward in our journey together. All right. Namaste. Just a little brief practice there. I'm going to bring you over to my desk. Kristen, you are welcome to uh, show yourself. Hey, Beth, you too. Good to have you. Welcome, everyone. I'm so excited you are all here. Thank you for that amazing practice, Kelly. My pleasure. That was phenomenal. The, the amazing Kelly Gardner and weaving in all of this um, beautiful inspirational language into our physical practice. Um, and happy Beth, birthday, it's... Kelly. Thank you. <laughs> yes, happy birthday. Happy 448, 40, right? 48 feels great. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Beth, it's great to see you. Would you like to um, say hi to everyone? Yes. Um, thank you all. I literally just got off the plane from Japan very, very early this morning. Um, so uh, it's great to see everyone and super excited uh, to have both Kelly and our dear Kristen Mabry uh, as part of this new venture and this new road that we're moving down. And our, we've got a really great team, uh, you know, Kelly being a mental health professional and uh, I'm, Kristen, I'm sure you shared with everybody you know, all of your coaching uh, skills and, and what you've been up to. I know you've been very busy out in the world presenting. Um, so this is, this came to me, I was at a business seminar in San Diego in late May. And I realized that we haven't uh, done our network the best service in the past 25 years of helping everyone, not only grow as we do with all the yoga fit trainings and the the growth and, and transformation that is part of those trainings but also from a business perspective of how people can really build their yoga mind body fitness businesses and uh, i've had the wonderful opportunity to graduate from harvard business school last year i've done you know, a whole bunch of different programs, Goldman Sachs, 10,000 small businesses. I was in a protege program with C200 for two years. And I've learned a lot and I have a lot of really good information, uh, you know, to share more on the business front. And so that's what I'll be bringing to the table. I've, you know, just returned from Japan where I'm helping Tomo, our partner there, not only set up two yoga fit studios, but also do the marketing and the activation around getting more people trained and putting the right programs in place for his hospitals and his rehabilitation centers and his spa hotels and his new diagnostic medical wellness hotel that will have a yoga fit studio in it. And um, so I have a, a lot to share with our network and our trainers. And I think, you know, between the three of us, we're an excellent team to lead and guide everyone to new levels, both personally and professionally. Pretty exciting times. So well said. <laughs>
Yeah, probably like 20 years overdue or maybe 15, but you know, better late than never. I always say, and I say that because I'm always late. <laughs> I say it's never too late. Yeah. Never so too late is, to evolve. This is a, a, a new venture, um, but, I, but I think a very meaningful one. It came to me very strongly. And uh, I'm so glad that um, Kelly and, and Kristen jumped in and uh, we're, all, you know, we're all on this road together. Absolutely. Hey, Patty Bain, what's up? <laughs> hey there. I, uh, I'm late to this show, but I got in here and um, I'm very excited for you. And uh, I know you kind of, you, you tried to swoop me to this earlier in the year and um, I needed some time. This these last three years have been very difficult um, mm -hmm. in the healthcare world, and uh, but I am ready to <laughs> finally let go of my fears and um, come along for the ride and do whatever I can to help. Well, um, Patty, you know, as we expand this program, especially as we expand it with more healthcare professionals, um, which you know, I just I, I taught a class two days ago we were more than standing room only. We had to do overflow in the hallway. So many people showed up. Uh, so that will, that will ultimately become a module of this program as well. And um, I'll let the other ladies discuss the modules. The apprentice program will also be a module for those people seeking that path with Yoga Fit. It will be mandatory that they enroll in our Mind Body Leadership Coaching Program. Uh, but we're going to start with the foundations, and that is uh, health and wellness on every level, because let's face it, you can't lead anybody else unless you've really led yourself to your best health. And I think we can all agree on that. Kelly, we keep getting you muted. <laughs> it's because that as you're talking, I'm like, mm, yes, mm hmm, and I, no, you know, <laughs> I don't want to be I interrupting like you. I like that feedback, so you can give sound effects. I think are always welcome. Okay, perfect. I'm great yeah. at sound effects. Okay. <laughs> it's so exciting to see how you continue to take things to the global market and continue to just broaden your vision of what how we're able to help people and i'm so excited for us to be kicking off just exactly what you were just saying this um, new way to support our community in becoming leaders in their own lives wow. and i think of leadership on kind of three levels and kristen i don't know what you had on the docket for tonight i'm just kind of going off the rails but <laughs> Um, and I, I want to give a shout out to Kristen. You did this uh, three hour yoga fit for healthcare providers. And I think Patty helped you with this. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, nice. yeah. I presented this, you know, they were, they had the Japanese version up on the screen and I, I read off this one. And of course I added some things, um, but this is really a beautiful piece of work that you put together. And, and, and the way it's formatted, I, I would love, I, you know, Patty, we would love you to take this to all the uh, so-called healthcare <laughs> facilities <laughs> here in the United States, because people who take care of other people need to learn to take care of themselves because really no one else is gonna do it for them. And uh, this is a really beautiful presentation that you put together and it was truly a joy to present it. And it was very easy and people got it. So thank you so much. Let's give her all a big hand. That's amazing. Yeah. As you were saying, we have such an amazing team. Yeah. So many amazing people here to, to pull from the wisdom and experience and, and just the heart of this whole team. And again, we will be expanding, you know, the, really there's no limit to where we can go with this program, obviously with 50 master trainers and people who have uh, core competencies in different arenas. There are many different ways for us to, to branch out. Uh, so we're just gonna get started. And my hope is that this program becomes the biggest program. Well, I wanna say through Yoga Fit, but it's actually through the Center for Conscious Healing which I'm putting the, the final touches on that deck, uh, hopefully by the end of next week. Um, 
and I'll share and when we do another informational call, I'll share with everybody, but it's a brick and mortar concept that I have uh, for people to take a very active role in their own physical and mental health, their recovery, their, um, you know, staying away from, from addiction, uh, anything that is driving them to a place that they don't want to go. Uh, we're going to, through the Center for Conscious Healing in this program, being part of it, really be able to help people, hopefully live and in person more than virtual, um, and, and make a positive difference in people's lives. And also, I think, empower them, whereas the current healthcare system that we have and many of the addiction and recovery models, I don't find to be particularly empowering. I mean, you get up every day, you say, I'm powerless. Uh, you know, that might not be the best mantra to be starting your day with. So in any event, um, I'm going to pause here and let, let you ladies take over on, on more of the details of the modules and, and what people who come to this event can expect. I love it. I think we could say that we're yoga fit adjacent. <laughs> yes, I like that. <laughs> so as you mentioned, Beth, this is really the vision is around helping people become leaders in their lives. And so just as you said, we have to start with leading ourselves. So we have leadership on the personal level in our own lives. But then we can branch out from there. We can impact other people once we have aligned ourselves with vision and health and the ability to really show up with a purpose, um, our, our own unique purposes, what, whatever they may be. And so that branching out may shift into leading our families. That branching out may shift into leading our communities. It may be leading um, bigger and broader um, communities as well. So I just think it's so exciting to be to be on the the cusp here of of what we're creating. Kristen, what you got? Come on. So let me know if my internet isn't uh, coming through well. I'm pretty limited here. You get hearing me okay? Oh, yes. great. So it is time to think bigger, right? We start with ourselves. We do the work on ourselves, and then we get then we see what's possible. Uh, Beth is spreading yoga fit in Japan. That wasn't the first vision she had, right? But now we're doing it. It's happening. And so what, what are the self-limiting beliefs that we keep saying or that we keep, um, you know, finding ourselves under, under the thumb? How can we shed those? And how can we ask what is possible? And am I living, you know, the truth of, of who I am and what I could be and what I could do? And so we really want to make the time and the space to explore that and give people the tools to do that hard work, to look within and really say, you know, what can I do um, to let go of the language that limits us and keeps us, you know, suppressed in these um, downward spirals, but instead, you know, riding the wave and, and trusting the universe that it is going to align to support our heart's desire and our sankalpa, our, our intention. And so we're so excited to embark on this journey to um, help people create that space and hold that space for discovery, for evolution. That's the word of the day <laughs> is evolution. That's what we're starting with this fall. So we can talk a little bit about um, what we're looking forward to do this uh, to this weekend in October when we're gathering. Um, I wonder if other folks on the call um, are interested in um, introducing themselves or saying hi. It's worth a try. Anybody else on the call want to um, let us know what you're what you're thinking, why you're joining tonight? Hey, Patty, tell us. <laughs> well, so as I said, you know, when I first we talked about this earlier in the year, um, I had just recently left my position at the hospital. I've been in healthcare for over 38 years, and you know, I often say it's a misnomer. Healthcare is not what we do we are basically doing damage control. And, um, and so this is why I've come back to my yoga fit family and, um, and getting involved again in this side of the bed, 
you know, and staying on the mat rather than in the hospital. And, um, and I think it's really important. And it's not just um, for those of us in healthcare, but I think there's a huge market for that because um, just in those people that I am still friends with and in touch with, this is hugely needed. And I know I've had my own struggles in getting past all of the last few years and, and just even all, everything that I carried with me over those 38 years of taking care of life and death, you know, literally really critically ill patients. And so um, we do tend to not take care of ourselves. And that's for anybody, anybody who's a care provider, not just in healthcare, but when you take care of a family member or it, it doesn't matter. When you are taking care of others, we tend to neglect ourselves. And so this is, is going to be a really big push and a big movement, I think. And I'm willing to go wherever I need to go with it and help you guys out. Patty, we're going to send you to Japan for starters and then maybe off to Turkey because we're uh, currently in uh, talks to to do the same thing in Turkey that we're doing in Japan and some private hospitals that will actually, uh, she's opening up hospitals in uh, other countries in the UK and also uh, Sweden and uh, somewhere in the uh, UAE. So there's going to be lots of opportunities down the line, Patty, for you to, to uh, take, you know, both of your, not that you only have two skill sets, but both of your, <laughs> your, your strong ones and go out into the world. So uh, get your bags packed and get ready. I just renewed my passport, so we're in luck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Timing is everything. <laughs> and Patty's done the work herself to be ready to jump into these opportunities. And that's exactly the kind of thing that we're talking about, right? Like, can we authentically show up in a way where these opportunities are gonna come to us and the universe is gonna align to support us? So. We are talking about leadership from a spiritual perspective and trusting spirit and rising to what spirit is asking us to do. And so we will do, we will have a lot of physical practice. We will have meditation. Um, and and as, a, as a perfect example, right now, I am attending a week long meditation retreat as a federal government employee. If you had asked me if that were possible a few years ago, I would have laughed in your face but it's possible and we're doing it, right? Because we stepped up and we said, we need this and it's happening. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of amazing. So, your, hair, your hair looks great, by the way. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's very a different, different, you lightened it up. A little bit, but it's very humid here. So I'm like total curl. <laughs> where, are you? where are you exactly? I am two hours outside of Boston. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, in the woods and uh, lots of meditation this week. And lots of bugs, I'm sure. Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> so Kelly talked about um, starting with self-leadership. And um, we were thinking it might be fun to do a quick little example of one of the types of exercises that we'll be doing in this work, um, both in the evolution weekend and then after that in our, in our formal program. Uh, so I wonder if we might want to just shift to that for a couple minutes. What do you think, Kelly? Absolutely. So I'm going to do you drop, have the ability think, to I share screen? Can... Yeah, you do. Oh, oh, yeah. And I'm, I'm also going to just drop um, a file in the chat. So if you don't want to do this right now, if you want to do it later, um, you could do it later. Um, but if you open this uh, wheel of life, it's actually an Excel file. Um, somebody give me a thumbs up if you're able to um, open that. It is not letting me share screen and I'm the host. That's odd. Oh, I got it now. Okay. All right, Patty's got it open. Excellent. And um, you're, you're seeing it shared as well? Yes. Okay. So one of the things about self-leadership is you can't do everything, right? We can't do a total makeover right now of every part of our life, or maybe you can, I can't. <laughs> so um, this exercise is really interesting uh, to sit quietly and think about what is my current level of satisfaction in all these different components of my life? You know, maybe some things are going really well. Maybe for instance, um, you know, health 
health and fitness is uh, maybe that's a, a, a nine for me right now, but career and work, you know, that's really tough. I'm going to give that a two. And so um, just going through this list of things and thinking about how am I showing up for the environment that I live in, the community that I live in, my family and friends, am I still coming through okay? Okay. So if you want to go through on yours and just do um, do some numbers, take a couple of minutes to plug in plug in some numbers on a scale of one to ten. So one is low and ten is high. What is your current level of satisfaction in these different aspects of life? And you know you can think about this um, a little bit more detail later if you want to go back and change some things. Um, but just just taking a moment to do a do a check in. Sometimes so much of life goes by and it's six months and we haven't thought about this. Maybe I haven't really thought about how am I showing up for my community lately? Or you know, what am I doing to promote environmental stewardship? Um, and those are really important to me, but maybe I just haven't thought about them lately. Kelly, are you saying something you're on mute? I said, wow, oh. <laughs> um, I went down and put my numbers in and then I realized that it was drawing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It was drawing yeah. on my wheel. <laughs> yeah. So um, now you have, you have a little, uh, maybe it's a, I don't know, a weirdly shaped wheel or something over in your graphic. And so then the next thing to, to think about is if you were to spend a year self-investing, right? We need to lose the term self-care and, and self-investment. If we were going to take a year to really promote ourselves, to focus on the things that are important to us, to sit quietly and listen to the suggestions from spirit about where, where do I need to be focusing this year? Where would you like to be a year from now in these same areas? Knowing that you can't, not everything can be a 10, right? So choose, you know, where, where might I want to put a little bit more focus um, versus something else? And maybe, maybe there's a category that needs to go up a lot, or maybe there's a couple that just need a little nudge, right? Like this helps us get organized around how do we want to apply our energy? So maybe um, give that a moment and get some numbers in there. I think it's interesting too, as I was popping numbers in, you know, you and I have talked about this. I've worked with a uh, wheel of life many, many times before, but as I'm going through and really thinking about this, I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. Wait, maybe that is lower than I actually do want it to be, or just taking even this moment in time to really rate it gave me kind of a, a different perspective. So I think there's something to be said for actually putting a number down. Yeah, kind of um, forced evaluation, if you will, right? Like you have to give it a number. It's not a, well, it's okay. Well, what is okay? Is that six okay? Is it three okay? <laughs> yeah, so if you've, got, if you've got the two different columns of numbers, you'll see the difference in the shapes. Right. And, and sometimes the, it's, you know, you can, if you're a, if you're a mathematical mind, maybe the numbers make more sense, but to me, sometimes the shapes are really interesting, right? What is that shape you know, reflecting about myself? Is it really like a weird contoured or is it, you know, more like a natural shape or is there one specific area that says, oh, wow, this is really, you know, is suggestive of um, needing some work or there's a lot of potential there. Uh, for me to make some changes. Oh, I'm uh, reading the chat here. Oh, wonderful. Someone's yeah, this is amazing. Corporate was... Workplace wellness. Yeah. yeah. We're glad you're here. Yes. With yes. And yes, we that have the shared fantastic. vision. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's manifest it. <laughs> let's do. Let's do. And let's let's chart a course forward to, you know, achieve these these dreams that are both, you know, um, our, our potential, but our also serving, serving humanity, right? And creating a better world. So these are the kinds of things that um, we hope to, yeah, to bring to the forefront and to start to manifest. And so one of the things that Kelly and I um, and Beth all really appreciate is coaching around goals. So let's say you just did this exercise and you, now you've got some ideas, like maybe this area and this area, but 
you know, how do you get started with that? And like, I can make a to-do list. I'm really, really good at to-do lists. <laughs> but what does that really mean at the end of the day? What's the intention behind it? And what am I working towards, right? And so a professional coach, a life coach, a spirit coach, can really guide you in how you want to achieve those things. And what is your internal dialogue around how you do that? How do you, how do you have compassionate accountability about making progress towards those goals? And that's something that we really wanna champion with this uh, program and introduce folks to the power of coaching and being your advocate as you do the work, right? To achieve and make these differences. What do you think, Kelly? Absolutely. And as we do that work in ourselves, it not only impacts us, but it does impact uh, our, our families and our communities and the people that we come into contact with, the people that we work with, how we show up in the world. And it really, when we do this work in ourselves, it also, it's an expansion. So it opens us up to more possibility to be able to make a bigger impact and to really feel like we are living, you know, the life that we want to live and in the purpose um, that we were created to bring to the world. And, and so this weekend that we have planned in October is the introduction to that. As we're talking about this, I can only imagine some people, whether they're here right now or listening later, may be thinking, okay, well, how, how do I even do that? You know, where, where do I start? And that's exactly what that weekend in October is going to be all about to, to launch. <laughs> we're, we're finding the map. We're finding the you are here star, and then we're going to launch on this journey. And, and so because everyone is different, it's very yogic and Ayurvedic in that it's also going to be very individual. You mentioned um, having a coach, and so that's going to be a part of it, right? We're going to be coaching you to find your vision and to find your way and your pace. And there will, of course, be shared tools and shared experiences and exercises. Um, but then you'll have the power to really create the journey that you, you want to go on for the impact that you want to make. Yeah. Yeah. And so part of this creative journey is, you know, the group of people that join us. And so the, the, the paths forward are going to, you know, open up and evolve according to who, who joins us. And so we may have people who are interested in becoming yoga therapists. We may have people who are interested in becoming a coach, right. Or opening a nonprofit or opening a yoga studio. Right. And so or like Wendy we see, corporate wellness. Yes, exactly. And once we see what those goals are, then we can align and pull from our subject matter experts and the people in our networks to support that, that growth journey. So after we do our exploration, then we'll get into manifestation, right? And we learn from our um, spiritual work that um, we, you know, receive that divine energy, you know, here and here, <laughs> and then we bring it into the physical world and watch it manifest in front of our eyes. And so I cannot wait to go on that journey uh, with everyone and see what happens. And as we do that, um, Beth and Kelly and I are also bringing into creation this vision. And so it's like, <laughs> it's like, you know, doing it in real time and watching it happen. It's just, it's incredibly exciting and really looking forward to it. I think too, just to that point, um, this everything that we're going to be presenting is new this isn't hey i had that in trainings before um and it we are creating it for you so um if it sounds kind of elusive or like i don't even know what she's talking about um that's because we are ready to create it for you we're here to coach you through your vision um, and this is all going to be a new experience. It's all brand new information that we're bringing in. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of clarify that, that point as well. So exciting. Yeah. And, and to come, go ahead, please. I was going to say to come get a taste of it in October. And so I think that'll really do a nice job of setting the tone about what is possible and visioning our evolution and what that could look like and getting an idea for, um, 
the different kinds of interactions that we'll have in this program because we want to move right part of that self leadership is learning how to um, be at peace with our bodies and so we'll do a lot of movement because uh, it's a huge part of that and any re any research that you um, you do on uh, burnout or stress or anxiety or depression movement is the, always the number one um, uh, self -re regulatory tool right movement and breathing and meditation and yoga and all of the wonderful things that we do so we'll definitely include that as part of our programming but we'll also have some you know pretty head and heart rich stuff a lot of exercises to get you thinking and we'll coach you through those uh, so we're really looking forward to trying some of that out in october and uh, hoping that people will join us to get a taste of uh, what this program will be like I think it's also exciting that, um, and I don't know if if we've done this before, but for the event in October, meals are included. Um, I mean, this is like the whole program. <laughs> this isn't just, oh, let me show up and go through the manual, or this is an experience. It truly is an experiential weekend. So that's exciting too. Yeah, this is not a training. This is an experience. This is something that you are co-creating with us. Um, I just also want to add, you know, I've been on several plant medicine journeys, um, sometimes that last a week with groups of people that I've never met before. And uh, the connection that happens uh, spontaneously is a very beautiful and, and the community that's built and also the transformation and a lot of times business opportunities and then people end up doing things together and um, with with also that that business focus, there will be a lot of opportunities that will unveil themselves to people that they don't, you know, none of us even know exist right now. I appreciate that you brought up to that connection piece. And so coming together in person is such a powerful way to shift our own energy. You know, everything is energy. We talk about this a lot in Sound and Mantra. Everything is energy. We are energy. And when we come together with like-minded people who are on the same journey in their own way, we can really uh, leverage the momentum that is built to create and, and manifest, as, as Kristen was saying, our vision. So that coming together in person piece is just so powerful. And the magic that can happen, like you were saying, Beth, that spontaneous um, connection that can be created and the power is, is there, so. And then having a community, you know, we'll start a WhatsApp chat so that people from the event will be able to connect with one another because probably a lot of them will end up in Palm Springs for the event. Um, many of you know my dog has a recurrence of cancer and it's through that community uh, where I went on a retreat that I was able to get my hands on a, uh, as a loner laser that I'm using to heal him now. Um, you know, with, with someone who was so uh, open hearted and, and willing, who didn't even know me because she wasn't on the journey, but she's part of the community, willing to help me out uh, with Bentley. So you never really know um, when you might need a hand to reach out to that you met at one of these events or when you can be of service to somebody else. Absolutely. I think that that's such an important piece too. You know, in Yoga Fit, we have the karma yoga of giving back eight hours. And as we're talking about moving into leadership in our own lives and making an impact in the world as ourselves, it's also about how we can be of service to a world that needs us so badly. We have different skill sets, but we all have this common drive, I think, and, and vision of helping and healing um, the world and, and each other. And so you're absolutely right. And one of the things about uh, the, the groups of people that come together in our community <clears throat> that's different from other groups in the world where there's a lot of competition, right? And uh, the beautiful thing that comes that happens when we come together is that we come from this abundance mindset, right? So we can all succeed. In fact, we can all help each other 
to succeed. And that is such a beautiful thing that happens when we come together in this way with these shared intentions and shared purposes that these collaborations uh, just blossom organically that you never even imagined. And these connections are just, they're just magical, except that they're real. <laughs> so, so we're really this, kind of creating a mastermind almost this, yeah. this energetic community to help each other along the way. Yeah. Where someone's and idea definitely... inspires you and vice versa. There definitely will be mastermind groups breaking off, um, yeah. probably uh, segmented out by people's area of uh, long-term interest, whether it's uh, the business portion or the apprentice program. But you know, oftentimes we will go and have an experience and realize that what we thought we came for is something completely different, and we find something new along the way. So there will be lots of mastermind opportunities for people who wish to participate in them. I think, Kristen, at the beginning, you were talking about, or just a little while ago, talking about being open to a to trusting spirit and allowing the universe to show up for us. And Beth, I feel like that's what you just described when we think we know what we're after, and then the universe presents us with something different or bigger or better or um, just that we would have never even considered or imagined. And, and that's what can happen when we come together in these powerful events, transformational events. Yeah. Yeah. And also taking our blinders off that we all have. Absolutely. Perspective. <laughs> and um, Kelly knows a little bit about a tool called positive psychology. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. So we're going to put these tools to use. We're going to do it and we hope that you you come and do it with us yeah absolutely does anybody have any questions for us you're welcome to type it into the chat and if you're watching this recording too um, we do have a facebook group whether you're here right now or watching the recording, we do have a Facebook group for the event in October. And that would be a great place to pop questions in um, to, you know, clarify or ask, ask questions or uh, make comments. Um, so make sure that you join that group as well. No, I'm, not, I'm not even on that group. What is it? Okay, <laughs> that's a good question. Oh, let me see. Hold on. I'll pull it up. And I should be able to share it in the chat. Um, if you are watching this on the recording, it is called Yoga Fit Fall Retreat Mini MBF Weekend. That's the name of the group. Um, let's see here. So you might be able to search for it or reach out to me. Um, let me see if I can find a link to share it. And okay. while you're looking for that, I also dropped the link for the registration page for the weekend. So if you're ready to do that, um, we'd love to have you register on the Yoga Fit website. And I dropped that link in the chat. Good job. And I also want to mention this is the last time that we'll be kind of like open enrollment in the future. People are going to need to apply to participate in any of these programs. So if you're watching this and you have someone, I, we all have people in our lives that we see where they may be stuck. Uh, but they don't see it. Uh, and hopefully they're willing to take the journey to get unstuck. But, you know, if you have people in your lives that you feel would benefit from this, uh, bring them along now, because the, I think the application process is going to get a little bit more daunting the more we get into this. That's a great point. Now is the time to jump now in. Is the time to jump yeah. in. With both feet. So if you have a dream, if you have a vision, if you feel like you've been stuck, if you feel like, oh, I would really love to be able to do that, but I don't even know how that could happen, come. Come and that's what we'll work on. Maybe you don't even know what that is because you've been working so hard for so long, you haven't even picked your head up out of the sand to say what else is possible. It's time to ask that question. 
I can only emphasize that even more. <laughs> and um, the more the merrier. So I'm going to see who else I can drag along with me. Oh, I love it. What is yeah. possible? That's the question. Yeah, bring your friends, Patty. I have a boatload. <laughs> There's, uh, I just recently co-authored a book with about 14 other healthcare providers, and we're all feeling this same stress. And so I'm going to reach out to all of them and have them come along for the ride. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, did we leave anything out that you can think of, Beth, Kristen? I'm just going to say that Fort Lauderdale is an amazing place to spend time um, for people living in colder climates at the end of October. The weather is still very warm here. I'll also add one more postscript, and that is the biggest holiday of the year, I think, and the best one happens here in Fort Lauderdale called Halloween. And there are celebratory events leading up to that. So if you can put some extra time on the calendar, Patty, we're going to go dancing. Um, try, try and stay through Halloween because there's parades and, and events and um, we'll be doing a lot of dancing on our own over the weekend uh, together as a group, but there's, there's a joy and a magic in just celebrating. So uh, come celebrate with us. We all have our self-limiting belief systems, even if we, we don't think we do or don't appear like we do. And I think that it can be a very expansive daily practice to just explore what those are. And we're going to help you create a roadmap to success, whatever that means for you, but also acceptance for every step along the way. Well said, and absolutely with the celebration, um, celebrating helps us to integrate. So if you can not rush out the door and just get straight back to everything you were doing before, take some time afterward to celebrate a weekend together and to integrate everything that happens. That's a great idea. Or to go to the beach and jump in the ocean and uh, do some cleansing, more cleansing practices. That's some good how integration too. Just let it soak in. Yeah. How appropriate though is Halloween. You can literally be anything you want to be, right? Exactly. <laughs> oh, what a good literally. point. Yeah. Perfect, maybe, we should ask, maybe we should ask people to bring costumes uh, for, for, you know, who, who they want to be next or how they would like to evolve, mm. transform and, and show up for themselves and for the world. I don't even know what costume that would be. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to think on that. We, we, we might create a theme, ladies. We'll, we'll uh, have a sidebar conversation That's on that. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I may have some Wonder Woman in my closet, but uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a lot of fun. Um, I can't wait to get started. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this. So thank you all so much for your time. Uh, feel free to message any of us with any questions. Uh, you, you can find us all on Facebook and Instagram and, uh, or you can just email us or post in the group on the Facebook yeah. group. Absolutely. Hop in there, ask questions, reach out, let us know what you need. Let us know what you want more clarification on. Um, grab that and come and join us. We can't wait to see you there. Ladies, Have namaste. Day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Namaste. See you soon, Patty. Bye. See you soon. Bye.